What's the word, everybody? It's your boy Jay Sice. We back with another tutorial, and I'm not about to use this background. What's the word, everybody? It's your boy Jay Sice, and we back with another tutorial. And today, I'm about to teach y'all how to do this little swirly effect thing you see right here. All right, let's jump straight into this. So for today's tutorial, you're gonna need Sapphire. If you don't have that, you could just look around on YouTube and somebody else will tell you how to get it. So in After Effects, you have your clip, you got your song, you wanna uh, highlight your clip, hit the rotoscope tool and either hit layer and uh, open the layer or you can just double click it. And let's just start rotoscoping out our subject. All right, so once you have your roto finished, you're gonna come to feather. Let's uh, make the feather around like 22. Uh, use motion blur and then hit freeze. The reason why I'm not doing my roto in full is because I have a RAM issue right now, but I recommend, I highly recommend that you do all your rotoscopes in full. Moving forward. So once you have your clip rotoscope, you wanna duplicate it and you want to go down to your bottom clip you know I'm gonna change the color of mine so you know I don't get confused and in the first effect I'm gonna add I'm gonna add S warp vortex mm -hmm. all right cool and then once I do that I'm gonna change the start to zero and then I'm gonna make a keyframe and I'm gonna come to the end of my clip and change this to around 700 but depending on what the situation is we just, we gonna run with 700 for this time. all right now so we can open up this clip by hitting you on our keyboard and then we can highlight these two keyframes hit f9 that's gonna make it an easy ease with those same keyframes highlighted you're gonna come to the waveform all right and we're gonna fix this up a little bit once you get that looking how you want it you want to press that wireframe thing again to come back to your timeline and with the clip highlighted you want to add RGS grow bounds after adding grow bounds just change the pixels to 400 now you see it on the edges there and stuff like that. After that, you want to add emboss glass. All right, once you add that glass, you want to change the bump scale to 0 0.4. Change the bump smooth to 550. Then you want to change those steps to 24. And then once you do that, you can add deep glow. And maybe keyframe your deep glow the same way you keyframed your uh, your vortex. So it would be one keyframe in the beginning and one in the end. I would have my radius at maybe 500, and then come to the last keyframe and change it to around 15 or 1600. Yeah, it's looking real sweet. Add another deep glow. Let's add a flicker. Once you add that flicker. You can just go down to amplitude and change that to 0 0.6. And for the rest of the flicker settings, you can just play around with them. You know, you can do what you really want for real. Also, you can add some RSMB. And you're looking just about done here. Now, you can easily get your background back by duplicating that top clip, dragging that top clip down under your roto clip and deleting the roto brush settings from that clip on the very bottom. And yeah, man, that's that. I just want to thank all y'all niggas. Appreciate y'all. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll definitely be back with some more. Peace.